hello guys i hope you're all fine now i will explain you about in the previous video i, I, I have explained you gauss usual method now i will explain you its flow chart so let's get some topic the function is start then it will read the line data as pqv then it will compute the y bus after that it will initialize the bus voltage after that it will it will put the value of 1 into iter itr iter then bus number will be taken as i equals to 1 here increment will be given i is equal to i plus 1 then here this is the condition if i refers to general bus, generation bus if the if this condition satisfies if this condition satisfies then it will go this side v nu equals to v spc angle delta is el if we, if it does not satisfy then it will go like this to this to calculate vi nu whereas after this we will calculate the q value then we will check the q limit if q is q gi is greater than qi max then we will put the value q gi equals to qi max if we q gi less than qi min then we will put the q j equals to q i into min if if these two conditions are not satisfied then we will go to q spc equals to q i c l then after this we will calculate v i nu here if i is less than n if this condition satisfies then we will check this one vi new minus vi old is less than or equal to epsilon if this condition satisfies then we will go to increment i equals to i plus 1 if this condition did not satisfy then we will go to like this we will go to calculate vi new then here iter will be iter plus 1 increment will be done then it will go to like this like this again like this it will come then after this If this condition satisfies now, then we will calculate all the line datas. Then we will print the all the line datas and we will stop this process. This is all about the gauss Seidel flow chart. I hope you understand, guys. Thank you. Guys, here there is a small mistake now. Here there is a small mistake. It should be like this. This one, it should be yes. If this is yes, then it will go like this. I unknowingly told you. This is not this one. It belongs to this one. If this condition satisfies, then it will go to increment i. This is no. This is no for this one. This is just for this one. I hope you understand guys. Thank you.